like Morocco, for example, not doing enough to make their talents as recognizable as, you know, someone like from Ivory Coast or Ghana. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. So today I want to dive into a question that I've had for a good amount of time and I'm pretty sure a lot of Moroccan fans would agree as well. And that is, why are a lot of Moroccan players being overlooked by top clubs? But before we go ahead and begin, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help promote my channel to an audience looking to learn more about Moroccan football. But without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Looking at what just happened last week when Yassine Bounou had made the move from Sevilla to Al Hilal, though Throughout the whole entire summer, and you could even say part of the winter transfer back then, there was a lot of speculations linking him with Bayern Munich, PSG, Manchester United. I know the most recent one was Real Madrid. But in the end, he decided to go to the Saudi Arabia club. Though it kind of begs the question, what is going on like why are a lot of Moroccan players being overlooked you think that it's not just him we've had players in the past who could have ended up at some point in their career in a top club whether it's through consistent performance being recognized as a top young talent and etc but it always seems like they're always something holding them back I mean, I've already mentioned Yasin Bounou. I know one top talent from the World Cup was Azadine Unahi, who for a while was being linked with Barcelona, Leeds, and I know there was another top club that was interested in him. But in the end, he ended up going to French club Marseille. And though I'm not really for the move, at least I'd say it's a step up from where he was previously playing. But it just, you know, that's just two examples, and of course I can go into more, you know, details on a comprehensive list of players, but that's besides the point. The reason is, I'm trying to figure out, is it that these players just have bad agents that aren't looking at their best interests, like these agents could be just looking for clubs that will offer a good cut for both the player and the agent, a good amount of money for them that they can, you know, just have for their own expense. Is it because fear of AFCON? Unlike a lot of other tournaments that go around in several other continents, Africa is the only continent where their major tournament is held in the middle of the season. So a lot of clubs usually do have some reservations about um, buying African players just because they know that during the middle of that tournament a lot of them will have to leave uh, mid-season go play for their country and a lot of them do have fear that those players could end up getting injured um, something bad could happen to them and they just don't want to take the chance or is it that there just seems to be more of a bias um, kind of feel to it? Let's look at examples. So we got Argentina, Brazil, two of the most renowned countries for producing top talent. I will give them credit. And yes, you could even say that uh, having won the World Cup in their past times has kind of lifted them up because you got like Julian Alvarez, Endrick, um, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, just to name a few who, though they were playing for their local clubs in their hometown, they just made the leapfrog from there to already top clubs like Real Madrid, Man City, FC Barcelona, um, you know, and a few other. You take that example and essentially that seems to be the common trend. and. You think of Moroccan players like Yasin Bounou, um, Hakim Ziyech, Azadine Nunahi, Sofian Amrabat, though they continue to have consistency and some of them were even 
prime during their use era, they still need to sort of work their way up. Like, you think Hakim Ziyech didn't just go from playing to Harabeen back when he was young, starting his career to just jumping all the way to Chelsea. He had to work his way up, as well as Amrabat, well as you could say maybe Bonu did kind of get some good feature because he made the move from Widad all the way to Atletico Madrid, but of course he was never really given much of a chance. But, you know, it always feels like, at least from my point of view, a lot of African players are still not being fully recognized within the global game. Because you think, uh, even for examples like Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah, they didn't get that jump straight away from uh, their hometown to a big club. They as well had to work their way of going from a small club to joining, you know, a good club, then, you know, a very good club and, you know, get to that specific point in time that they are in. But it just always feels like that seems to be the ongoing problem. I don't know if, again, like I mentioned, I don't know if it's just because the agent's not putting their uh, players at their best interest, um, AFCON, or any other sort of fact. But I don't know what needs to change for a lot of players to start getting recognized. Though I won't say, oh yeah, every country in Africa is, you know, under that same treatment. You could probably argue that Ivory Coast, Ghana, I believe Cameroon, all have players that automatically sometimes get scouted by big clubs more than the rest. But, you know, that still makes up a small portion. Like, let's look at example here. Uh, I'm currently here in the United States and... I could say confidently that until probably 2019 and before then, players weren't securing like big moves to these top giant clubs. You could probably say after a couple good years of playing the MLS, you could secure a move to a, uh, the championship in the second division of English football, maybe get a good move to Italy, Turkey, France, but with very like medium level teams, not actually like the top teams. But as a reason, uh, it seems like the market has been favoring the US where you got like Gio Reyna, uh, Pulisic, McKinney, all securing like big moves to giant clubs. And it just got me thinking again, uh, what does it need to take? Um, but you know, I've kind of been going on a ramble. Uh, with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the bottom section of the comment. What do you think is going on? Um, as mentioned, is it like any of the factors that I have mentioned, or is it something more? Do you feel that the world right now is just not fully recognizing African talents and just scouting them? you know, from their local domestically, is the country itself pertaining, like Morocco, for example, not doing enough to make their talents as recognizable as, you know, someone like from Ivory Coast or Ghana. I know Morocco right now has, you know, has the Mohammed VI Academy. That, you could say, has started the trend, but um, probably, I would argue, maybe it's in, in its still in its infancy age so you probably won't see players you know making that jump to from the academy to Barcelona or Real Madrid or Man United for example but yeah again let me know what you all think and as always I thank you for watching my video as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video thank you all and have a great day